Hey guys, it's Jason here. Welcome back to the Oak Mountain ACOTS. Well, in today's video, we're gonna burn some diesel fuel and operate some equipment. Stick around. Alright guys, so we got a nice little load of slab wood on the cream and hydraulic timber trailer behind the Kubota B2601 and we've got a 20 foot uh, 12 inch culvert on here as well. Now if you've been watching our videos, you know that the slab wood came from the sugar shack build. We sawed our own lumber out there and we were doing 8x8 construction there. So those are some pretty nice pieces of slab wood. And uh, we're building another road uh, back into a hardwood grove so that we can start uh, getting some more firewood poles this fall and uh, things were going great and then I hit this really soft piece of ground and I knew that if I put the backhoe into it I probably wouldn't get it out without help and I thought you know what I'm gonna try one of those corduroy roads now this idea came from one of our viewers and I gotta say thank you very much that's what I love about YouTube because I never would have thought about taking slab wood and putting it down into a wet hole to help me build a road let's go see what we get into here Alright guys, we made it back in with our load, that's a good thing. And uh, this is a really nice stand of hardwood. It's kind of thinned itself out, but uh, there are some trees in here that uh, we'll be able to pick up for firewood. But there's a lot of uh, sugar maple, or rock maple in here. And uh, what I did was I brought the backhoe in, and I just started stumping and moving the brush to the sides like I normally do on my spur roads. But then when I got back into this wet spot, as soon as I dug a section of that ground out, the water poured right into the hole that I made and I knew that if I put the backhoe in there I'd be stuck for a while so uh, the idea here is and we're gonna go back and have a look at this but the idea 
is to put this slab wood across the road. They're, most of them are 16 feet long, so we're just gonna put them side by side and work our way right back to the wet hole. Then I'm gonna bring the backhoe in, I'm gonna put a culvert in, and then we're gonna lug some loam or some pit run or whatever you wanna call it. It's not gravel, but it's, uh, it's loam out of the side hill here. Uh, we're gonna lug that back in and uh, dump it right over the culvert and then keep on going with our corduroy road and see if we can get across this little wet spot.
right guys, what do you think? Hoping that it's gonna work and I hope it's gonna hold the weight of the backhoe when I put the uh, the fill over top of it, but pretty slick so far, I think. I'm just gonna get this stuff organized and then I'm gonna bring the backhoe back in and I'm gonna dig this down and put the culvert in. And I don't have to dig very far because uh, I spent quite a bit of time walking around here to figure out what I could do. The last thing I really wanted to do was lug material in here because I had to open up a new pit and everything. And I was kind of hoping I could get through it somehow and then pull material off of the side hill over there where it's nice and dry. But at the end of the day, I figured that I would get swamped with the backhoe. So this was the solution that uh, I decided would be best. Let me know what you think down in the comments. All right, let's get that Command 2 backhoe fired up.
Okay guys, we got the culvert in. Probably not uh, the best culvert installation I've ever done. I've seen I had a little bow in the center of it, but uh, the water will still get through there because there's a lot of water here to move. Um, I put a little bit of the wet stuff over top the culvert just to hold it, leveled it off a little bit. Now I'm just gonna bring some more of those uh, pieces of slab wood back in and uh, kind of repeat the process. And I think I've got another 20 feet to go to get across this wet hole and then I'm gonna be back into good dry ground um, there's a spruce tree over there and that's kind of the start of uh, of the really good soil again. So I'm just going to work away on this and uh, it looks like the backhoe is staying up on top, which is great. And we're sinking in a little bit, but you would when you're building the road anyway, right? So we're going to get the road in and then, you know, once it's hard packed and uh, had some traffic on it, we'll probably come back and put some fine stuff on top just to get the ruts out of it. Anyway. I'm thinking that this was a great solution to get across this wet spot and uh, I'm interested to hear what you guys think down in the comments. We'll see you in the next one.